Hamadin is the most popular character in Diablo 2. There are tons and tons of guides out there covering how to efficiently making it. Although, for the most part of them, they tell you how to make the Hamadin for the endgame. The truth is, the Hamadin can also carry you through the first difficulties of the game up to health mode. No problema, compadre. This guide will cover how to make that happen. What is up, you damn gorgeous and beautiful gamers, and welcome back to role-playing games. Before moving on with the guide, I would very much like to invite everyone to hit that like button, subscribe as well for more of this kind of content. That being said, let's get into the matter. First thing you need to do to start enjoying your hammerdin is to reach level 18, since you can't use uh, blessed hammers until that level. So to smooth your leveling up, first you want the Sealess Paladin. Level 1, you need 1 point into Might. Level 2, you need 1 point into Sacrifice. Level 3, you put all of your points into Resist Fire until you reach level 6. Level 6, you put all of your points into Holy Fire until you reach level 12. And then at level 12, you need 1 point into Seal. After that, the rest goes into Holy Fire until you reach level 18, when you can respect to Hamadin. The AoE damage you are going to be getting from this setup will get you easily through that early leveling. And then we can move to Hamadin. When you first complete the Den of Evil quest, you are going to get a respect point. You need to use that to switch to the Hammerdin. Do not worry though, this will get you all the way through all of the difficulties of the game and you will get plenty of respects through the course of the game. To switch to an endgame paladin, to remember this is not an endgame paladin, to remember that this has the purpose to carry you with the Hammerdin through the main part of the game, not endgame, you want to respect later on. Now, when you get to level 18, you are going to get your first skill for Blessed Hammer followed by bigger. I like to prioritize that one since it increases the hammer's damage and allows you to run without caring too much for stamina. Also synergized with some of the early rune words we are going to use, smooths quite a lot the exploration since this is going to be your bread and butter. Save some of the remaining points to be able to use them later uh, as well on Holy Shield. You first want to prioritize your skills on Blessed Hammer, Bigger and Holy Shield until you get them all to 20. Place the remaining points on Blessed Aim and Concentration. Also, this is up to personal preference, but if you're in a party with melee warriors, you might actually want to switch to big, uh, Bigger to Blessed Aim for that extra accuracy for the party. But overall, I would very much say that they would prefer to move faster as well, so I prefer to go for Bigger, for bigger first to be able to level up faster and explore faster. Stats. You might have been told that strength is not important for the hammer din since it doesn't really scale his damage of the hammers that the rest of your gear is going to give you what you need for the build. But do remember that while you level up, you need to upgrade your gear to withstand the enemy punishment. So I would say that 60 is perfect, then later on place strength rune word to, you, to your weapon of choice to raise it to 80. That should easily get you enough, enough points to get gear to be improving. Also, if you are lucky enough, and you find the Herald of Sakharum for some weird reason of the universe that is going to make me hate you like a salty bitch because I always struggle with mine. Getting to 94 from 80 only takes 3 levels to be able to use it, so do have that in mind. Dexterity you need from uh, 120 to 170 depending on your shield. Block rate and level of holy shield play around with that. Everything else goes to vitality, so that is a lot of thought. How do I do that? Now, prioritize strength and vitality until you get strength to 80, and then place points evenly on dexterity and vitality until you get your dexterity to a comfortable block rate position. And then dump everything else to vitality. Fairly simple. Now, the rune words. It is fairly simple as well. You want stealth and not deer, there is no question about it. They will carry you through the first difficulties of the game. They are easy to farm. Stealth gives you cast rate and movement speed. Nadir, extra defense and magic projectile resistance. Pretty cool. When you reach level 25, try to get spirit on both sword and shield ASAP. Well, you might actually want to finish the game before that. And anyways, it used to be an only ladder rune word in Diablo 2. Resurrected is always available. This will absurdly break your hammer thing like you have no idea. Plus 4 to all skills, a minimum of plus 50% FCR, and a minimum of 180 extra mana for those gorgeous and beautiful hammers and a bunch of defenses and resistances. Really, just get this as soon as you can, and you need nothing else to climb up all the way through the endgame. It'll cost you quite a bit to farm, though, since you need 4 socketed items, which you can farm in the secret cow level but you need to first finish the game in the normal difficulty for that so do not mind it that much until you finish the game 
A good choice to use before you can get the two, the two spirit rune words on both shield and sword is strength for the weapon, ancient pledge uh, for the shield. That being said, hope you guys enjoyed the video, find it useful. If you did, a like would be super appreciated and a subscription as well. I will be seeing you damn gorgeous and beautiful, beautiful people in the next one. Have a beautiful day.